Hello everyone, welcome to the NPTEL course on nonlinear control design. I am Srikant Sukumar from Systems and Control IIT Bombay. Uh, this course is uh, primarily designed for uh, beginning graduate students uh, who have some exposure to linear systems, state space and so on. Uh, one of the first questions that comes to mind is why nonlinear control? And the answer is rather too obvious. Um, almost every system that we see around us are nonlinear systems. For example, here you see a, a non holonomic mobile robotic system, like a network of mobile robots. Here you see a satellite in orbit. Here you see a smart grid network. You can see, you know, a virus or infection spread models. You can see aerial manipulators, quad rotors, and even biological systems such as the beating of the heart. Now, all of these are in fact nonlinear systems. And if you want to manipulate the behavior of any of these, say using medication for the heart, or using you know, electrical supply for the smart grid, or using some kind of medication uh, or, or disease control mechanism for infection spread or, or using thrusters for satellites. The entire purpose uh, of doing any modification in the behavior of the system is achieved via nonlinear control. Right? So what are the elements of nonlinear control? So these are the kind of things that we will cover in this course. And there are three distinct components. The first is the analysis component, where you have, uh, you know, this Lyapunov theorems, the idea of stability in the sense of Lyapunov. Then we have notions such as the invariance theorems, uh, which have slightly wider application uh, to limit cycle behavior and things like that. And then we also study Babalat's lemma for time varying systems. So once we have a good basis, good background in the analysis of nonlinear systems, to study their stability and other asymptotic properties, we actually move on to the design, right? And what are the methods of design? These are only very, very, this is not an exhaustive list, but obviously given the constraints of time and so on, this is the um, sort of design methods we will look at in this course. It includes control Lyapunov functions based design, backstepping and integrator backstepping, passivity based design, and feedback linearization, which in itself is another very, very large diverse area. Uh, there are also advanced design methods. Uh, we will look at some of those. Uh, the first being constraint control. So if you want your control system to uh, have some kind of safe behavior, that it doesn't collide, or it doesn't, um, if it's interacting with humans, it doesn't hurt them then you are in the domain of constrained control, state constrained control, and so on. And so that is one of the new and upcoming areas. Then of course, there's adaptive control when you have uncertainties and unknowns in the system. And uh, there is the notions of finite time and sliding mode control, which have these disturbance rejection like properties, right? So, so these are all the ingredients that will go into uh, what we look at in this course. Now, where, what kind of applications are there for control, nonlinear control? So these are, I mean, obviously, again, I cannot provide an exhaustive list here, but these are some of the applications that we ourselves work in our laboratory. Uh, the first that you see is synchronization of coupled outputs, and this is applied to you know, vehicle platooning, which is a very, very important application in transportation systems. Uh, then there is uh, network adaptive identification of and control. So if you have some uncertainties in the network, like, you know, like uh, bias affecting your sensor measurements, then um, how do you address these? How do you identify these bias over a network? So this becomes a nonlinear adaptive control problem and we study it in such a, uh, in a, such a framework, right? Uh, then of course, uh, nonlinear control feeds into nonlinear and geometric state observers for such aerial vehicles. Um, and of course, 
uh, for aerial motion simulators like this, you know, two-doff rotary aerobot that we have made in our own laboratory and this flapping wing aerobot, these are all systems where nonlinear control is uh, naturally applied to. Yeah. So overall, um, I hope that this course will be a very interesting introduction into the very, very large domain of nonlinear control. And I hope to see all of you coming in enthusiastically, uh, doing well in the course. And of course, most importantly, eventually applying it to uh, some domain of your own expertise, be it defense, be it aerospace, uh, be it electrical networks, and so on and so forth. Thank you.